This is PC747, bringing you the latest in tech and entertainment talk. For my last topic, I want to talk about Android fans who are out there looking for a tablet. And I bring this up because I was one who was actually looking to buy a tablet. I currently have a MacBook Pro, which is good for doing things like video editing and things like that. But I prefer my Chromebook majority of the time. It's just quicker. I don't have to really worry about time spent with updating software. It's a great device. Well, a couple months ago, there was talk about Chrome OS coming to tablets. And now we got a chance to see that with the Chrome Tab 10 and the HP Chromebook X2. Now, I actually went to try to buy the Acer Chrome Tab 10, and the only place I was able to find that you could purchase it was through CDW. Well, I had a little challenge getting the device as, uh, I will say that for another time, but let's just say it was more of a headache to get the device than it was worth. But thanks to Chrome Unbox, I got an opportunity to actually see the device in person and see the complaints about it, such as the software and the jankiness of it, um, the hardware and so on. And looking at how it's priced compared to the current iPad mini, it's far from being able to be compared to that. Being able to be a device that's ready for customers to yeah, really want to spend that type of money for that. Now, the HP Chromebook X2 is a much better option. Better hardware and yeah, the software is is there but the issue that we still have with chrome os is well google need to do a better job with chrome os with android apps they still are continuing to push this but it's not quite ready for consumers every day to really be able to trust chromebooks or chrome tablets as an everyday device so it's really gonna be in Google's court to improve Chrome OS as far as it running Android apps. Now, ever since tablets came onto the market, back with the Motorola Zoom and Honeycomb, different Android manufacturers, they made attempts. I mean, we saw some good ideas out there. Remember the Acer's, Asus Transformer tablet? It was a great idea. A device where you can detach the keyboard and use it as a tablet or put it back with the keyboard and use it like a laptop. Very good idea. But those who had one couldn't attest to how buggy it was and janky the device was. And we see a number of devices. Acer with Iconia. And even Samsung with their Galaxy Tab. Which, by the way, they will be releasing another Galaxy Tab this year. Still, despite all that, yeah, Android manufacturers could not seem to get tablets down. For whatever reason, they just could never figure it out. As far as the phones, yeah, Android's king of phones, but when it comes to tablets, that's where for some reason they couldn't get it out. And a lot of it lies in the court of Google. They just haven't really done a good job preparing the app store to handle the larger displays and the tablets and so on. So that is something really Google needed to fix. And we're starting to see some of that again as more Chromebooks are be trying or becoming these hybrid devices 
where it's Chromebooks slash tablets. And it's still lying at the heart of Google to prepare this and fix it so that it works properly. And hopefully we start seeing that as Google continue to upgrade their software, especially with Android P. But if you are an Android fan and you're looking for a tablet now, then I have to point you to Apple and the iPad. That is gonna be the only place you're gonna get a pure tablet that works and works properly like it's designed to. When you look at the Chrome Tab 10, it is ambitious and it's a good push and start for these Chrome tablets, but price at the same price as an iPod or an iPad mini, it's not a viable choice for customers. And it's why I would tell most customers, yes, get an iPad. Because you can buy an iPad mini, load up your favorite Google apps, Chrome browser, Google Play Music and TV, Google Play Movies, Google Play Books. There's a number of Google apps that you can install and it make it feel like an Android tablet. Now, we know it's still gonna be an iPad, but that's the closest you're gonna get. Now, don't get me wrong. I do have an issue with the fact that you cannot add external memory to an iPad. But given the options we have now, you don't really have much of a choice. Now there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. As I read over at XDA, that we may see more Chrome tablets this fall from several other companies. And it's gonna be interesting to see if we can find that device that's priced right for the customers and can still handle their day to day. Because despite the jankiness that is being shown with the Chrome Tab 10, that device actually just aesthetically is what I and probably a lot of people that's in the market for a tablet is wanting. So if they can get that fixed and get the hardware behind it, price it just right, add the little pin that they have, I think you'll find a, a couple customers willing to give it a try. I know for me, I was willing to until I saw the bugs and issues. And for right now, I'm just going to have to wait and see what these future tablets have to offer. This is PC747. Thank you again for watching. Leave your comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.